Everybody, this is Todd McFarlane here. I got the DC Multiverse, and you're listening to DC Collector Cast. What's up, collectors? Benjamin David here, live from New York Toy Fair 2020. I am right outside the DC Direct booth, about to interview Jim Fletcher, creative director of DC Direct. Brian Walters is going to give us a tour of the entire booth, and then we're also talking with sculptor Paul Harding. Stay tuned here at DC Collector Cast and above and Batman Beyond. Welcome, Welcome to, to Toy, Toy Fair, Fair 2020. 2020. We're here with, in the DC booth, in the DC Direct booth with our new name and with our, one of our top sculptors, Paul Harding, who's worked on one of the coolest action figure lines we've done this whole year. Why don't you tell them all about it, Paul? Well, we're looking here at Deceased right now, which is a new comic book from Tom Taylor. Uh, you can see all the new prototypes that we have set up in the gray. And a first look, which is really exciting. Because you guys look. are here, these were just set up yesterday, so they weren't even here the day before. Yep. Who are they, Paul? So, starting with, uh, who's this, Deathstroke, the Joker, Nightwing. Now, Nightwing's kind of funny because right now with no paint on him, there's Nightwing with paint right. down here. And when Nightwing's not painted, he's basically just a naked man running around in the background. With so. a massive head wound. <laughs> yeah, well, that's kind of an issue. <laughs> we have Harley laying down here crawling towards the camera. Uh, Aquaman and Batman. Superman with the first look of Red Hood in the background. Yeah, that's a really cool one. I like what you do with this helmet on the side over there. It's awesome. That's, a, that's an exciting piece. Uh, Supergirl, Flash, and Green Lantern. And you've got Batgirl at the end here, which is one of my, this thing is really awesome. Like in the face, you must have had a lot of fun with the facial expressions on these guys. I mean. Because you don't get to do this kind of stuff for us too often, right? right. These are ideal little tiny projects, you know because yeah. you just get to turn good-looking superheroes into the grossest things imaginable. I mean, yeah, I, mean I think you worked with Ray on a lot just to get a lot of the reference, right, for right, the faces? Right, right. Ray Tyra art directed this line, and uh, we just went back and forth on, you know, how far we wanted to go with the male characters versus the female characters. Huh. What was, it, what was your kind of distinction that you came to with the difference in the faces with those two? Uh, like, with Batgirl's face, I mean, you know, we know normally she's fairly attractive. I mean, right. I don't know... About right. this, so what was your like reasons it, for changing them? It's Im it's important with the female characters not to go too far. Um, you can't have too much corrosion like you could perhaps on like the this Flash figure if you looked up <laughs> yeah. close. So you you kind of want them to retain that femininity, but have this evilness about it with cuts and lacerations and things like that. Yeah, and the whole storyline they're getting there if they're scratching off skin off their faces and right. infecting people and it's. Right. But they're great. I'm really happy to have, always happy to have you on board for working on our sculpts. You bring a lot to the table on the, the faces on these when Ray was showing me those little heads. It right. was so fun. I'm like, oh, they're so ugly. They're <laughs> really cool and creepy. And it's interesting how they translate when they, when after we 3D print them and put them on the prototypes and the production pieces. Mm. Um, they're fun to look at. Yeah, especially neat when they're unpainted because like for, uh, like for Red Hood back here, you can really see the detail in all the, uh, the scarring on the face, especially when they're unpainted and they haven't been, you know, reproduced overseas yet. It really retains all of Paul's really fantastic work on the details. Uh, but you did all the bodies for these originally as well. So you're Correct. pretty, you're pretty, you are like Mr. DC Essentials. <laughs> That's right. And well, you are an essential part of our team. Well, so thank, there's thank you so much, Jim. Perfect segue to the Essentials line, which is down below. And the new six pack coming out with a, a repainted oh, Batman. Oh, I thought you meant mine. Sorry. Oh, yes. This was... <laughs> And this wave, uh, maybe Jim can tell you about the characters. Sure, this wave, um, this wave got uh, really great reception when it went into previews magazine. I mean, the Speed Force Flash was something we haven't really tried much of that before right. with these translucent figures. This Batman looks fantastic. I actually like when they put the purple back in the back of his cape. Yeah. It really helps define the silhouette of the character. It's funny, I will say on camera that Ray is really against this red Nightwing. He was he just loves the blue ones so A lot much. of Nightwing fans are, yeah. but I dig it. I think it's cool. Yeah. Red and black, how do you go with red and black? It's always a good fashion awesome. statement. And then Superman from, uh, you know, when he was after the uh, his destruction at the hands of Doomsday, mm -hmm. um, and he's got a little bit of his double still on his face there, and that was a that was a fun figure to do. We haven't done a lot of Superman stuff, and right. we've hardly ever done this one. Yeah, I'm Maybe really happy when, with the paint on the, this production. Right, it looks, it looks pretty looks great. It looks really nice. Yeah. And then the, the Justice League six-pack will be fantastic. I mean, if you haven't gotten them all before, it's a good time to go back. Just get them all in one place. So that's and pretty now, cool. And that now, just, that's just a new paint variant yeah. on Batman or each each one? Yeah, each one has a slight different paint deco. The uh -huh. Superman's blue is a little different. They all have the slightly different deco, if not much. But 
Right. And so, yeah, so this has been a special installment of Toy Fair. We don't usually have superstar talent available on camera, but an exclusive for you guys. Hey everybody, this is Todd McFarlane here. I got the DC Multiverse, and you're listening to DC Collector Cast.